Hi and welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, I'm going to talk about Elements Kit and some of its coolest features. The thing that I want to start with is that Elements Kit provide you more than 60 widgets and it also provide you different types of demos according to those widgets. And if you want to see them, visit Elements Kit landing page. After that, hover on Elements Demo and there you'll find the links of those widgets. As an example, I want to show you the timeline and if you go to the timeline page, they will find a different type of demos, just to scroll down a bit. For example, the timeline with the background color. So there you can see if you hover on any item, the background color change every time is a different color. And there is another example, which is the vertical hover effect. And the next one is a timeline with one side content. And then you have another timeline style. Then timeline with the background image. So these are the timeline uh, that you can directly apply into your website and this part of the video I want to show you how you can apply or install this kind of demos into your website using layout kit and what is layout kit if you want to know it open any page with Elementor page builder if elements kit is already installed in your dashboard and if you open the page with Elementor page builder there you'll find an elements kit icon click on the icon then a pop-up will appear this is basically the layout kit. So from here you can download any type of content that I have recently showed you. Uh, for example, if you go to sections and you scroll down from the left side, you find timeline. Click on it and there you can see the same demos that I have showed you. I open any of them and there you'll find the insert button. You can also see the light preview by clicking the light preview button, but I want to import it right now. So click the insert button, then it will take a bit of time and it also installed into a website and there you can see the timeline we have seen into the elements kit website now it's available into my website the second thing that i want to talk about is the elements kit header photo builder with elements kit header photo builder it also provide you different type of demos and using these things you can make your website beautiful and simply create a header and photo on the fly now in this part of the video I want to show you some of the ready-made demo of the header footers that you can also import in your website using Elements Kit. From Elements Kit landing page you have to go features after that header footer. From header landing page you will find a lot of different types of headers like header with top bar, social icon, your contact information, drop down, mega menu, full screen header and the container based header. You'll also have the search options and the appointment button. You can use any button you want. And from the footer page, you can see you have different types of footers like footer with the subscription, simple footer, and the footer with the background image, social icon, gallery, Instagram feed, and Twitter feed. From Elements Kit dashboard, click header footer and there you need to click add new now you'll have a pop-up from here you need to provide a title name in the second input we'll have the type do you want to use this template for header or footer you need to specify here in my case i want to use this template as a header so i'm choosing header and there you'll find conditions click on the condition and you'll find three options singular archive or entire site if you want to use your template like header or footer for the entire site you can choose the entire site or if you want to use it for any specific page on that time you need to select singular and you'll have another in input open that and you'll have more options like do you want to use it for all singulars font page for the post 404 etc you can also use it for archive pages in my case I want to select entire site. Now activate, save change, edit this one, edit content. In here you need to design your header. Elements Kit offers you the pre-made header so I'm going to use one of them. In order to do this again, click on Elements Kit icon, go to headers and you can use any of them. In order to show you how to install, I'm going to click white and sky. There is the header. Click install and it will be automatically imported in your website. Or if you want to see the live preview, 
click the live preview button. And in the same way, you can also use footer for your website. It's time to talk about one of the most advanced and cool features of Elements Kit, which is Widget Builder. Using Widget Builder, you can make your own custom widget on the fly without having no deep coding experience. Let's see how to do this. Make sure you have Widget Builder module is enabled. After that, from Elements Kit, go to My Widgets. There you have to click Add New. In the left side, you need to provide your widget name, icon, and the category. And in the second column, you can see here you need to drag and drop your controls. Let's see some of the controls. After clicking this little icon, you'll find all of your controls like text, number, text area, WYSIWYG, switcher, and in the third column, there you'll find your editor. In the HTML section, you need to input your HTML in CSS. You have to provide your CSS in JavaScript, and you have to provide your JavaScript. You can also include CSS and JavaScript as CDM. There is a widget named CodeBlock. This is what I have already created. Click Edit, and here you can see in the content section, I have added a new control named Date and Time. And in HTML section, I have used some HTML code. And in CSS section, I have added some CSS code. Now let's see how the output look like. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder, and you can see the code block widget in the group of basic category. Let's drag and drop here, and there you'll find the date control. If you want to know more about the widget builder, you can watch our widget builder videos. If you want to make your website interactive and super eye-catching, you definitely should use parallax effect. For that reason, Elements Kit provides you advanced parallax effect. Let's see some demos of the parallax effect. From Elements Kit landing page, go to features, then advanced parallax. After that, you will end up to the parallax landing page. There you'll find around 20 parallax effect. Let's open the second one fruits. In the second one, in the top, you can see there are some CSS animation. And when you scroll down, you'll see a beautiful eye-catching, super interactive parallax effect on a scroll. Sometimes it becomes really important to make any section or column or any part of your website sticky. Here, Elements Kit provides you advanced sticky feature. Let's have a look at the demo page. Go to Elements Kit landing page, features, advanced sticky after that you will end up to the sticky page look at the header in the top when i scroll down it remains sticky now again look at the coming header when it becomes sticky its background color change so this is another effect of the sticky after scrolling a bit you can see a sticky column when I scroll down, there you can see in the left side content, there are many sticky, but the content of the right side, they are moving. Now in the sticky feature section, you can see, you can make any random content sticky you want to. Sometimes you might need to make a sticky your section. Notice the bottom part of this landing page. When I scroll up, the bottom part remains sticky. It's time to talk about another advanced cool feature of the Elements Kit, which is the Lothi animation. Using Lothi animation, you can really bring some cool animation into your website. From Elements Kit landing page, go to Features. After that, you'll find the Lothi animation. Click here, then you'll end up to the Lothi animation page. And there you'll find some cool Lothi animation. And all of them are pre-made. If you want to use any of them, what you have to do, open your page with Elementor Page Builder Click Elements Kit icon and from there go to Section tab and scroll down. And there you'll find Lothi. If you click Lothi, you will find all the ready sections where Lothi animation used. If you want to use any of them, just open and there you'll find the install option. You can install it or you can see the live preview. You can also apply other Lothi animation, like from Lothi Files website. From here, scroll down. And you can choose any Lothi animation file you want. For example, this one. From here, download the JSON format. Click download and download the JSON file. I have already downloaded this one in my computer. Now, from Elements Kit, open any file with Elementor. Then search Lothi. There you will find an widget named Lothi by Elements Kit. Drag and drop on your page and you will find some settings here. In the first input box, you have to upload your Lothi animation in JSON format. Now there are some other options like link, reverse, autoplay and so on. 
Now let's upload our downloaded Noti file. There you can see this Loti animation is now working in our website. And this time we're going to learn about Mega Menu. But before that, let's see what kind of ready elements Elements Kit provide you. In order to see Mega Menu demos, go to Elements Kit landing page. From there, go to Features, Mega Menu Builder. Click View Demo and it will end up to the Mega Menu landing page. Scroll down and there you will find the nav menu and the vertical menu. The vertical menu you can use for your e-commerce site is very suitable for e-commerce. From nav menu, let's see the first example. The first example is a blue color based mega menu. In the drop down, you will have the sub menu and the nested sub menu. In the list, you will have a list of multiple widgets used to make this design. Likewise, in the contact, we have the multiple widgets to create this design. Like we have the map, from, list item, icon, and the button. In Elements Kit, you can create a mega menu by drag and drop features. Let's see how to use a mega menu. Go to your dashboard. From appearance, go to menus. Now you have to create a menu. Now let's take a menu item from custom link. But right now, for this item, mega menu feature is not enabled. In order to enable it, click enable this menu for mega menu content. After that, when you hover on the item, you'll find the mega menu. If you click on it, you'll have the options to create the mega menu. Enable it. If you want to add any content inside of this mega menu, click edit mega menu content. You'll also have icon, you can choose the icon color, badge, and so on. Now from the content, we have the builder content and WP submenu list. Now click edit mega menu content. A new window will appear. In here you can create the mega menu by dragging drop widget from the left side. So these are the features of Elements Kit. If you want to know more about them, visit Elements Kit landing page. After that, go to features and visit the rest of them. Thank you for watching this video.